You know how, in your kitchen, you might start cooking a meal with a raw ingredient, like a potato. Now imagine for a moment a factory where companies like AMD and Intel begin their cooking with something that looks like a lot, like a large shiny CD, but instead of plastic, it's made of ultra pure silicon wafers. The purity of these wafers is incredibly important. Imagine the purest water you can think of, then multiply that purity by 100, 100,000 times, and that's the kind of purity we're talking about here. This is the raw ingredient of the tech world. These silicon wafers aren't destined to become a meal though. Their destiny is to become the heart of your smartphone, the heart of your laptop, or even your car. They're on their way to becoming computer chips. But to transform from a disk of silicon into a chip capable of running your favorite apps or powering your vehicle, these wafers have to go through an extraordinary complex process like an incredibly and elaborate intricate recipe that transforms raw ingredients into a delicious dish. Each step in the process is like the stage in a recipe. First, the wafer needs to be cleaned, then treated, then a new material is added, then the silicon is altered, or doped in industry lingo, and then some layers are stripped away, then others are added, and then the cycle starts again. Just like cooking, it's all about the right ingredients, in the right order, at the right temperature, with the right equipment, and it goes beyond the headline lithography tool or EUV machine you may have heard about. In this video, we're going to look at a new generation of oven in the factory. A lot of the content on this channel wouldn't be possible without you, the supporters. Many thanks to all who support. And if you're interested in supporting, then we have Patreon, we have a merch store, I have a Substack newsletter, or simply just like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. As the demand for more powerful and efficient chips has grown, the recipe to create one has become more complex. Once upon a time, chips needed 60 steps to be created, then 100, then 250, and now it can be in the thousands. Imagine having to follow a cooking recipe with a thousand steps. It would be quite the culinary feat. The process of chip creation isn't only lengthy, it's also incredibly delicate. It's akin to a multi-story building where each floor represents a different stage in chip creation. Just like in a building, the structure of the chip needs to be stable and each layer needs to be added carefully and in the correct order. Today, a state-of-the-art chip uses as many as 25 exotic materials combined in a hundred different ways, with some of the material layers being as small as four atoms thick. This process is so intricate and precise from start to finish that creating a chip can take several months. That's a far cry away from the 20 minutes it takes to bake a potato. In the past, this manufacturing process has been like a relay race, with the wafers being passed from one machine to the next for each step in the process. But as our technological demands have grown, we've realized that we need to upgrade our race from a relay to a triathlon, where one athlete or in this case, one machine, completes multiple stages one after the other. This is where the complexity ramps up even further. A chip factory is filled with machines that all have to fit together in a highly orchestrated, space-efficient manner, a bit like the world's most complicated and expensive game of Tetris. Adding to the complexity, some stages of chip creation require the wafer to be in a vacuum. For the most intricate parts of the process, Exposure to even the tiniest air particles can lead to problems with yield and consistency, which can ultimately increase the price of the final product. So we need a machine that can do it all without the need for moving the wafer. This is where companies like Applied Materials come in. You may not have heard of them, but they're kind of like the head chefs of the chip making world. These folks are actually the biggest player in the fab equipment space, a $25 billion revenue company with more than 30,000 employees. Virtually every new chip today goes through an applied materials tool. They've designed a new machine that's revolutionizing how chips are made. This is the Vistara, a new all-in-one, multi-talented master chef of chip creation. It's a device that allows multiple stages of the chip making process to take place within one single machine. It's all about combining versatility with efficiency, precision, and innovation. This is a type of integrated material solution, as Applied calls it, and critical for the next generation of chips. We are now, whether you like it or not, in an AI era of computing, using the most advanced process nodes to make the chips. 
In these nodes, chip makers increasingly rely on new materials to create delicate 3D structures, all of which need to be created and combined at high vacuum. These solutions will enable chip makers to integrate more process technologies and accommodate more steps all in one single high throughput system than ever before. The key differentiator of Vistara compared to previous platforms is its modularity. Like a high-tech Lego set, its components can be swapped in and out to accommodate different stages of the chip making process. It's as if our master chef could effortlessly switch between being a baker, a butcher, and a chocolatier. This versatility not only saves time and space, it helps ensure that the wafers remain in their ideal conditions throughout the entire process, which in turn improves the quality of the final product. Another key area for any fab machinery is simply how much space it takes up. The clean room area is a pricey premium, and foundries want to maximize their investment by installing tools as densely as possible. As a result, a key driver for tool manufacturers is simply space optimization, both the area in the clean room, but also the subfab facilities underneath. The subfab is what provides power, chemicals, and water, and is just as important as the clean room. As you can imagine, this is a key element to new machines, and Vistara is no different. Alongside other speeds and feeds is the 30 to 35% reduction in floor plan. This reduction is compared to Applied's previous generation hardware. With two of the previous generation Centris systems, featuring six units each, a single 12 unit Vistara saves the additional space while also optimizing flow for increased production complexity. But that's not all. Vistara doesn't just bake, it also observes and records like a food critic. But in this case, the machine is fitted with a host of sensors, keeping an eye on every aspect of the process, making sure that everything is running perfectly. With predictive analytics, it can also suggest potential issues before they happen. It's as if the master chef had the ability to predict that the souffle would deflate even before it happens and adjust the cooking temperature just in time. While exciting to talk about the latest computer chip or graphics card, we often forget about the unsung heroes and machines that make all of this possible. The shiny new devices that we hold in our hands would not exist without machines like this working tirelessly behind the scenes. So the next time you're marveling at the speed of your new smartphone or the graphics on your latest game, spare a thought for the technological marvels that make it all possible. Behind every chip, there's a few dozen machines like this one that helped create it.